<laughs> Just kidding. Yes. Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, joking aside, I would say that I I pretty much enjoyed this movie. I I I thought it was pretty good. Um, I it's not even me saying that because I saw the hatred of it. I just objectively went in and judged this movie by itself, and I thought it was pretty good. Um, it did have some issues. The editing was weird. The third act kind of felt underwhelming. The ending, uh, especially, felt a little bit underwhelming. I understand that this is kind of a personal story for Morbius, the character, but um, even. And the ending does make sense, but even, you know, as a CBM, you have to have a big third act, and it, this one just didn't have that. It was kind of uh, underwhelming in that sense. And the post credit scenes, I, I heard that a lot of people hated that and called them the worst post credit scenes ever. And I was like, why? There's, there's, it, it's not that bad. <laughs> um, I, I, I tell yeah. you what, the worst post credit scene is. <laughs> bringing Venom into the MCU <laughs> and then taking him out of the MCU. I laughed so hard at the first post credit scene, dude. Like, the way they did Which, that. No. Yeah. no, 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 no. I, say, I still say the worst post credit scene is literally just a musical number. Of, you know, you made people sit around for nothing. Just <laughs> Which movie just was that? Gag. That's, a, oh, for, yeah. that's Hawkeye. I, I didn't watch that. <laughs> But great, great show. But that post credit scene was fucking <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, but yeah. this movie I think is pretty good. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to defend this. Like, I don't have any hearts in the game. I don't know who Morbius is. Well, now I know, but I didn't. I wasn't a fan of Morbius before, and I'm not a huge Leto fan. But I like him um, as an actor, and he did pretty good. I thought that you know the other two characters are also pretty good. Um, you know, I, I'm forgetting her name, but, um, the, Adia, Adia Aroha. Okay. But what, what's no. the name of the character? I forget her name. Just yeah. So the, the doctor, yeah, she, doctor. she was pretty good. I thought she didn't get wasted and she, I thought she had a pretty good role in the movie and, um, even as performance, uh, she was good. Matt Smith was, um, as expected, he was pretty good um, throughout the movie. There's some things he did that didn't make sense. <laughs> so I will agree with that. But it was not supposed to be some serious type of movie. Um, even Morbius himself is very humorous. And um, Jared, I like Jared Leto's joking style. You know, even in V Crashed, I'm watching that one, right? Uh, the way he sets up a joke and tells it like this not laughing too much or making faces he just delivers it <laughs> you know i just love that um so he was pretty good in the role as well and uh, i love the character's powers a lot um and i feel like they should definitely bring back this character for other movies in their universe whatever universe it is in um and i even if you're not making a sequel, I just think that this character is too awesome to just trash away. I, I just want to see him back. Yeah. The um, the movie's been 126 million worldwide right now. Its budget was pretty small. It was like 70 million, 75 million. So it, it will break even. You know, it will make, make a little bit of profit. But yeah, it's got the biggest second week drop off of any superhero movie ever, any Marvel movie ever, something like that. Okay, but there is big competition this week anyway. Like there's Sonic, there's Fantastic Beasts, there's all these other movies coming out anyway. But yeah, and Jared Leto isn't a box office attraction movie star. He's just not. He doesn't really lead too many movies, and here he is leading a movie, and it's it's done respectfully well, I think. He actually you know, feels and, uh, very unlucky in that matter. Whenever he's in a movie, it just gets yeah critically trashed I, yeah, this, and all that. Yeah. Yeah, there's. Oh, well, well, aside from Justice League and Dallas Bar Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the, you know, like, and this movie was chopped up big time. Like, and you can tell, you yeah. can tell certain scenes. Like, there's a scene at the start of the movie where you get the Nobel Prize. There's definitely a scene of him giving a speech at the Nobel uh, Prize yeah. ceremony, and then we just find out in the next scene that he just told everybody off or didn't accept it. Like, just there is, there, it's cut off in places where there is longer scenes. Definitely, so this movie was much longer. There was more context in terms of the MCU and Marvel, Venom. Um, uh, Spider-Man, Oscorp and stuff like that, Rhino, Black Cat, um, and it was all cut out. Although I was, was surprised was to see out. one thing, one connection there. 
they had one connection, yeah. but the the, uh, the should you talking about a piece of dialogue? Yeah. No, the newspaper. What was on the newspaper? I must have missed it. Um, they had the Daily Bugle for the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I seen yeah. that. I was looking for any any writing, but there, yeah, there was a lot of scenes cut in this movie. You can just tell it from watching the trailers and the TV spots, and then watching the actual movie, and you can tell where a scene was cut. Yeah, and that's that's disappointing. And Jared Leto has kind of gone through that now, and then maybe like. I could see this being a uh, maybe he's making good money. Maybe at this stage he doesn't really care that much, you know. <laughs> but I could see him maybe just stepping away from these big franchise movies. This keeps happening. He's supposed to do Tron next with Disney, you know. Oh, similar dude. thing could happen there. Like, it, it, mm-hmm. it 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 has to be it has to be kind of demoralizing at times to put all this work in and then a lot of stuff is cut. The movie feels like a marathon. It's or like a sprint. Sorry, it just it just it, it feels like a sprint where it just just cuts to next 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 scene. And it moves, this moves, the story moves so fast. And is it Matt Smith's character? Matt Smith, is that, is that his name? Yeah. He, he, like, he just turned into a villain out of nowhere, you know, <laughs> he just, he just does. And uh, mm-hmm. but I thought the visual effects were really good in this movie. You know, I thought they were really, really good. Like, like this movie doesn't look cheap or anything, even though the budget was small. It just looked like it, it's tacky. It oh, it looked, looks pretty it good. Yeah. Bad. Even the good. powers. Not, yeah, really good and it has a dark feel to it as well it's not like it's a bright movie trying to be bright yeah some, and the humor isn't the humor isn't stupid it's kind of very subtle humor as i well. was actually like, surprised there was humor around. in this <laughs> yeah and it, it, it's it's a it i tell you it it, yeah. it doesn't yeah. feel like any marvel movie i've ever watched it feels like a, a very kind of a dark kind of maybe a movie that you you would say like oh this movie here would fit in well with the X Men universe, like there's a few movies I feel about that. Or the yeah. Nolan Batman movies. Yeah, it just, just, it just feels kind of unique in a way. And I, I yeah. thought I, I did, I did well, enjoy the movie. I, I did like. Well, just funny you mentioned the X. Funny you mentioned the X Men universe. There was a reference where I was like, "Is that an X Men reference?" Yeah, yeah. yeah, but like, there's movies <laughs> out there, the original movies that aren't connected to any cinematic universes, and I, and I do say. That movie right there, that would fill it. That would fit in with the X Men universe, you know, or even the mo- new movie with Zac Efron, Firestarter, I think it's called. The trailer for that, it looks like it <laughs> yeah. could take place in the X Men universe, you know, the stuff like that. I think is interesting. Yeah. But no, I I thought the movie was it. I, I the hit for the since be on like unnecessary. I don't think it was terrible or anything like that. I thought it was a solid, solid movie, solid performance. Jared Leto was pretty good. Yeah, it moved very, very fast, but. I didn't, I didn't see any problem. It's not like I had really bad CGI or the dialogue was terrible or stuff like that. You know, I, I really don't see the hate for the movie at all. I do think, I do think if they kept the Easter eggs we got to see in the trailer, yeah. I do think if it, w- it was more attached to the MCU, I think the perception around the movie would be very, very different. You know, I think um, Venom Let There Be Carnage, the Spider-Man post credit scene with Tom Holland kind of saved that movie a lot as well yeah. uh, and perception with fans and stuff like I that. I thought this was a and better movie, movie with... than that. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. I think maybe I think maybe Venom 1 is better than yes. this, but I think this is better than Venom 2. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think if it had that connection, I think people would be like, oh, this is pretty, this is a fun movie, MCU <laughs> yeah. entry, they're connecting stuff together, but it didn't. It, and you know what? I kind of like that they cut away all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, it was just a movie and origin story about Morbius. Yeah. And it trimmed the fat and it just told us this story and it got to it very quickly. Yeah. And you know what? I love the um, the color font for the logo at the start. Yes. I that thought, was pretty cool. I thought they would ha- have more of that aesthetic in the movie. They didn't have too much of that. And they never had it in the marketing at all. Yeah. Either. The green and red, right? Uh, in the beginning? The, the, for the, mar- the, the, no, the purple. The purple. Oh, was it di- was it different for you? No, no, it was it was the green and red thing that that was coming where it said uh, in association with Marvel and all that. Oh, the, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. talking about the actual yeah. Morbius logo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One. yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. And the the end, the third act. His powers also act. had purple in that, right? When he was yeah, flying. Did, yeah, 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 yeah. That was cool, yeah. actually, as well. Yeah. Like, I think it depends what he's wearing because he was in a yeah. jumpsuit um, um, and it was orange and then yeah. the color was orange as well. So I think it depends what he's wearing. But the ending, the uh, the third act, there is no third act. It's just very fast. Yeah. And it's just over and over. There is a like the, point three act. <laughs> yeah. I did like the closing shot. I just say he's, I'm just going to say he's flying in the air yeah. and it closes on his face. But there's something else in that scene. I did like that. And I'm actually very, I think there's actually a very, if they do make Morbius 2, 
I think there's a very interesting marketing campaign that they could do that would be very similar to, say, the obsession people had with Joker and Harley Quinn in the first Suicide Squad movie. Yep. I think in a way that could be implemented into the second one. I don't know if they'll make a second one. But I, I, I like the feel of this. I think it's 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 different. It's a, like a vampire movie. It doesn't feel like a Marvel movie Speak- at all, even though it had some references. Speaking of the vampire thing, when when he was getting into that chamber when the bats were flying this the scene is in the trailer so i'm not spoiling anything so when that when he's stepping in that did you hear the dark knight theme it's very it's yeah. very um it's it's there but it's very kind of yeah. uh, muted and the sounds and stuff like that like so the like, first yeah, two I... notes are the exact same and i was like what is going on here <laughs> because I've seen this on TikTok. Somebody, uh, I just seen a, a second of it and they did like a voice saying, I can't believe they used the Dark Knight team in Morbius. They like, did. That can't be real. <laughs> that can't be real. Somebody just got the music and just just did that. But it's actually there if you listen yeah. back closely. <laughs> so, yeah, my thoughts are that I would, I would like to see a sequel. I'm not craving for it, but I definitely want the character to reappear in future movies oh oh definitely i think there's a if they don't if they if they look at the movie and say yeah this movie the sec, a second one's not going to be profitable profitable at all throw them in somewhere else because i think the character would be would um when venom and morbius teaming around, up would be awesome that'd be cool well when i got to see him jumping around uh like for the fight sequences i was like i want to see this guy fight spider-man this would be so cool yeah. uh, no matter what spider-man it is and we have to remember as well like venom uh one came out and it was a big hit mm-hmm. but that character was in spider-man 3 mm-hmm. like and that was a big movie even though maybe it's maybe not a great movie but yeah. was, people were already aware of the character this is an origin story for a character nobody knows anybody anything about yeah and starring jared like, little sit, starring jared without little, any I'm spider-man also, connections <laughs> without any and there's no like the cat the surrounding cast there's no like big yeah. name for the surrounding cast at all there's no like morgan freeman there's no um you know for like in any of the the dcu movies like there's there's always like a side big actor there but yeah. this one didn't have that and also uh the name morbius like how do you pronounce it you know stuff like that it had a lot going against it and i think mm-hmm. it did pretty well for itself at the box office for a character that's unknown and put away everything i think it actually exceeded my expectations for what it was going to do at the box office because i was thinking that especially with the rotten tomatoes score the critics hating it like everybody's hating this movie and uh even you know it's bad when even random gamers you never heard of on twitter are just coming out and making morbius memes (laughs) you know that's when you know that okay this has crossed the cbm fandom and went into the general audience so yeah, despite that, it's doing pretty well. So I'm happy.